Hey, what's going on YouTube? J. Dr. Jamo, we back again with some orky goodness. Now, um, I didn't even know what this was, but they said I would like it. Like, I was like, what? Why, why would I need a cup holder? But, um, oh, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> but apparently, there is more to it than that. So, um, let me, let me show you what I want. Apparently, this cup holder has a free pin charger so you can charge whatever it is in your car so let me see that's that's what's in the box um what else is in the box nothing nothing else in the box cool okay i don't need that what is this user manual cool so here it is it, i guess it just sits in the cup holder i'm gonna jump in the car in a second actually but let me just there you go guys so you've got two USB ports, one extra car adapter, you've got the power button, and you've got a port for plugging in any free pin device. So obviously this is the UK version. Plug in anything you want into your car cigarette lighter. Um, that, that to me is dope. Look at all that stuff you can plug in. So you can have two phones charging, you can have another you know car cigarette thing going on in there with something else on the end of that, maybe your GPS. And then you could probably charge your laptop or like some something you forgot to charge before you know you left the house, but you're in your car and all you've got is a car charger and that product specifically doesn't have a car charger. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get in the car and we're gonna see how it works. One second. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the keys up in the ignition. Ugh. Right. Oh my gosh, my car is such a mess. Right, now, here is the device. I'm gonna plot that there. Fits perfectly in the cup holder. It's a bit rocky in there, but um, you know, I might put some tissue paper around it to make sure it's it's quite sturdy and it it, it shuts as well <laughs> it's just it's just quite dope so we're gonna plug this into here now i'm gonna try to do this with one hand Ugh. okay that's plugged in there cool um hold on a second this is not gonna work with one hand is it right okay so we plugged in now finally <laughs> um let me put that down here does that fold all the way back well it folds down here Cool, so I'm going to press the power button and we've got a little red light there, feedback. And, oh, now we've got a green light. Okay, was there a difference between the red and the green light? I'm not even too sure right now. But, um, yeah, that's it right there. Um, let's go and plug some stuff in. Let me just put this back down here. Right, so first of all, let's try my 3DS charger. Now, uh, it's a bit tough to get it in, but it's in now, okay. There's not really much space to put in the USB cables, so depending on how big your free pin charger is, that will depend on how, you know, um, what was I talking about? I lost my train of thought. That will depend on whether you can actually get USBs in there if your free pin um, charger is too wide. But anyway, um, we've got my 3DS here, playing some Pokemon. And got the charger, well it's already fully charged anyway, but um, let's try and see if it charges my 3DS. And there we go, as you can see in the top right, we've got a little power cable, so we're doing all right now. We've got a little power cable, or a little power indication in the top right. Um, let's try and plug in my Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> right. Now, there's actually no point in me doing this test because I don't think anybody actually plays Nintendo Wii U in the car, but here's my Wii U, and we are going to plug it in right about now. Right, so let me... Do I need to get that on camera? Hold on, there we go. Um, yep, that's all plugged in now. Um, I'm going to just leave that here in case it blows up. We can get that on camera. Right, and let's get that up on the screen. <laughs> this is crazy guys, there's not enough space in here. Right. There we go. Wii U is on. Wii U is on. 
So it's not a case of whether it's got like enough power to power up a Wii U. You can you can actually play Wii U in a car. You got kids, put them in the back seat, give them their Wii U thing. They could they can play that. They can even play two player using the screen. Or that new Nintendo Switch. They're gonna be playing that as well. But um yeah, you can plug anything into there. I just realized I can't actually test the um what you might call it, the power that's coming through the USB sockets at the moment, because I'm actually using my Moto Z Play to film this video. But what I'll do is I'll test them and then, you know, I'll put them in the description below and let you know, put the results in the description below and let you know what's really good with that. Can I plug something else into that as well? I don't want to overload my car battery, but um, where, where is my other, my other gadget? Hold on a second guys, Where, where's it gone? We have found him, so, and then I guess I can plug this in there as well. And then you got even more, so now I can get USB-C charging rates on my Moto Z Play. Here we go guys, it's all cool. All key, cup holder, car charger, three pin something, converter, adapter. I'm not sure what it is. But now you can plug anything into your car and have that charging on your journey. That is live to me and it just sits in your cup holder like a normal cup. Like what, what more do you want guys? I don't, I'm not even sure what more you want right now. But yeah, I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, let me know what you think about this. I haven't seen anything like this before. So it's, it's actually quite cool to me. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and if you have I will catch you in the next one J Jamo out